Hello. So sorry about that. How can I help you? Oh, yes, this is my cell phone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a pretty old phone. <laughs> yeah, I get that a lot. Yeah, I probably haven't seen this since about like 2010 maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I did have a smartphone, um, but then I decided to trade it in because um, I really like the way the buttons make noise when you click them on this phone. You know, the older phones just had so many more buttons and I really missed hearing that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, do you have a smartphone? Mm -hmm. But you're looking to trade it in? Okay. Um, you really want to test this phone out? Really? Okay. Well, good thing you asked. I actually have another one that's exactly like it right here. So here, you can try that one out. Mm -hmm. Yes, we still sell these phones. Mm -hmm. We have a very limited supply, but I love to sell these old phones because, I know, people just forget about how good it was to have a full-length keyboard on your phone. Yeah. Yeah, and you just open it that way. Exactly. So, if you look at your keyboard right there, um, you'll see that the keyboard actually has two space buttons on both sides. So, while you're texting like this, you know, and then when you have to click space, you can either use your left or your right hand to push space. Um, you know, it's, and it's nice because it's a very compact phone, so everything you type is just all right here at a keyboard, obviously. And on a smartphone, you know, um, the keyboard is really small and it's a touch screen, so it's easier to mess up, but when you have these buttons and you can hear exactly which buttons you're pressing, you know exactly what you're typing. And if not, you can just go back and delete it with this arrow button here. Just go back and delete. And also, if, you know, if you're at, like, business meeting or something where you don't want to look like you're on your phone and have it open like this, you can close it and then this outside portion of the, mm -hmm, yeah, that outside portion, you can text using these numbers on the outside. Now, um, the letters for texting correspond to the numbers on the front. So let's say you wanted to type hello. So you would look at the number four and it has the letter H on the number four. So to type the letter H, you'd have to click four twice since H is the second letter. So you'd go one, two, and then the H would pop up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you'd have to go pretty fast um, when, when clicking the button because if you went slow and you did one, two, <laughs> you'd actually be typing G, G since, um, G is the first letter on the number four. So, when you're typing, it kind of has to go like one, two, that's H, and then E would be on the number three, and again, that's the second letter, so you'd have to go one, two, and then there's E, and then the L for hello would be on the number five, and since it's the third letter, you'd go one, two, three, and then one, two, three again, the O is over here, one, two, three, and then it spells hello. So then once you get the hang of it, it would go like... That's really fast. You get used to it once you've been doing it for a while. But yeah, definitely using the full length keyboard is really helpful if you prefer to hear more of the button sounds. Yeah, the button sounds are really different from one another. These ones sound like, like that. And then these outer buttons sound more like. So these buttons have kind of a more dull sound, if you can hear that on yours too. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You're worried about not having a touch screen? Mm -hmm. Well, then I have something just for you. 
I actually have it's basically the same phone but it has a touch screen on the outside and you open it like this and again you have the full length keyboard here again with the two space buttons on each side of the keyboard and you have the OK button and the send and end and you have a speaker button down here as well just like that keyboard that you have mm -hmm. yes it is a larger phone and again instead of having the buttons on the front of the phone this is a touch screen and it has the send and end button and there's also a speaker button down here as well these buttons are a little softer but you still get the feel of the touch screen mm -hmm. yes it does come with touch sensitivity so when you press buttons the phone actually vibrates so it kind of feels like you're still pushing a button just without the sound but there is still a sound it's kind of like a dull buzzing sound like mm, mm, mm. <laughs> like that you want to hear how these buttons sound? Those are nice, right? Mm -hmm. You want to try it? Okay. Let me take that one from you. Okay. You like it? Mm -hmm. It's nice, right? Yeah, it is a bit bigger than the other one. Mm -hmm. Do you like the touch screen on the outside as well? Perfect. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do have some other older phones if you'd like to see them. I actually have the oldest phone that we carry right here. It is this cell phone that has buttons like this. And this is the only screen. It doesn't flip up like the other one. It's not touch screen. It's a very basic phone. There's nothing on the back. Um, this one doesn't have a camera, but it is very simple. And the buttons sound very nice on this phone. has much more of a clicking sound than the other phones. These, you have to definitely put a little bit more pressure on the buttons to type the numbers. And you can text on this phone. This phone does have email capabilities. There's a the little email button there. You press that to access the email when the phone is on. And there's a menu button as well. And you have your volume controls on the side and you have your speaker button on the side as well yeah it does come with an antenna this makes for great cellular reception <laughs> and to answer the calls you click send and then you answer just like this yes this is the send button um there's no e in send it's just Yeah, I think they just really wanted to simplify this phone as much as possible. So they just dropped the E and said, yeah, it's not really necessary to understand what that button means because the end is in red and the send button is in green. It makes it very simplistic for the user. Mm -hmm. You like that one? Well, we also have that same phone in black. Oh, yes, thank you. Mm -hmm. So these two phones are very similar, but they are just two different styles. So again, we have the black one and the silver one. I know this one's missing an antenna. This is just a sample phone. We don't like to let kids play with the cell phones anymore. <laughs> oh, yes, they will just come in here and tear. We keep them locked up now, but I assure you, if you'd like this phone, it would come nice with an antenna, just like this, and without a cracked screen like this one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was fun.
fine. It was a sample phone to begin with, but um, we don't show this one first. We tend to stick to showing this one first. Now, I do have some flip phones that you might be interested in. This is one of our earliest models of a flip phone that we have here. It flips open like this. And again, we see the keypad with the letters, with the numbers. So again, if you wanted to text like we went over, you'd have to type the buttons like so in order to spell out your text messages. And then you click the send button, which is up here. Now this phone does come with a camera and the camera button is right here. So if you would like to take a picture, the camera is on the front of this, and right now it is covered. So to uncover the camera, you slide this down, and now the camera lens is exposed. And you can open your phone like so, and press the camera button to take a picture. So say cheese. Great. And there's your picture there. And if you wanted to take a selfie, there is a camera button on the side here and you'd hold the phone towards you like this and the image would appear here and again you'd push the camera button on this side and click it to take a picture and then your picture would be taken and then you can go ahead and cover the camera back up so that it does not get damaged mm -hmm. yeah you want to hear the buttons on this one more dull sounds and the more stronger clicking sounds from the earlier model phone. Yeah, and you have some larger buttons up here with the OK, and you have your speaker button, and the email button here as well. And this phone actually comes with internet access. This button right here that says web And you click that, take you straight to the internet. <laughs> I know it's a crazy concept. <laughs> and again, you have your send button, your end button, and also to power this phone on and off, you would hold the end button, and again, it would turn on or off. And texting fast on this phone would sound like. Kind of what it would sound like. And you also have a speaker button on the side. And again, this also comes with an antenna as well. Now, this phone is pretty similar. This phone was specifically designed for music lovers. The buttons on the front of this phone are a play and pause button and a fast forward and rewind button. And that's for listening to music. And this phone also comes with a stereo piece on the outside of the phone on each side, as well as an antenna and a camera. And this camera also has flash. So this is the speaker button, as well as the flash button. And there's a camera button on this side, and a charger for this phone would go here. Have to undo this and click it back into place once you're done charging the phone. So again, this is a flip phone, so you'd flip it open like so, and you have the standard keypad here, and the speaker button is in the middle of this phone, and again, you have your OK, and you have calendar button, and you have your news button up here, kind of looks like a newspaper and an end, and again the power to turn your phone off would be to hold the end button and you'd hold it to turn it back on as well and you'd like to hear the sound of these buttons as well okay so this keypad is definitely the easiest to type on in my opinion the buttons are very smooth 
and you don't have to press down too hard to get the letters you would like to type. Mm -hmm. So, again, that's what the buttons sound like. Would you like to try it? Here you go. How do you like that phone? Sounds good, right? Thank you. Now, if you're looking for a phone that is a bit more unique, um, we have this light blue phone. It's very compact and small. It's really cute. And it flips open like so. And you have your buttons here, send, and of course, all that. And the buttons sound very nice on this phone. And it has a very tiny screen. And this phone does not come with a camera. You can get your email on here, and you're able to text on this phone as well. The buttons are pretty soft, so texting on this phone would sound like... Yes, the buttons are. There's that one. And we also have one that is very similar to that. It's also a blue color, and it's very small, just like the other one. But this phone comes with a camera, which the other one does not. But it looks like that. And the buttons sound more like... a bit more of a clicky sound. And one of our more popular older cell phones is this phone right here. It resembles the Razer phone that was very popular in the early 2000s. It's practically the same phone. It has a very sleek keypad so, the buttons are not sticking out, it's just completely flat, and this is a very thin phone compared to the other bulkier flip phones, and it also comes with a camera, and the keypad sounds like... It's definitely a more quiet keypad. So, in order to hear the buttons, I'd have to get closer, and you can hear them here, in the other side. And that's this phone, if you like something a little bit more sleek. And this phone that we have here is very similar to the one that I just showed you, however, this one seems like it does not have a screen on the front, which it does, which I will show you in a moment. And this phone also does not have a camera on the front like this phone, but there is a camera on this phone and it's on the back right here. A lot of people don't see that when they first look at this phone. And this phone is actually a bit longer than this one, so if you put them side by side, this one is tall. And this one is a bit thicker. So to open the phone, you'd go like this. And again, it is a very tall phone. So when you're holding it to your ear, it comes all the way down. So you'd kind of have to talk it down into the microphone there. And this phone comes with very large buttons. So if you have any trouble with eyesight, these buttons are great for that. And these buttons are also a bit more clicky and easy to type with. And as I mentioned before, it seemed like there was no screen on the outside, but if you can see here, there is a clock that shows up on the phone um, after you close the phone, so then you have the time there. 
So, are you interested in purchasing any of these phones today? Yes, we do exchange phones here. Mm -hmm. You'd like to exchange yours? Okay, no problem. May I see your phone, please? Thank you. Oh, this is very large. A lot different than the phones I just showed you. Yeah, it's a pretty nice iPhone. Is this the 6S Plus? Okay. Alright, looks to be in fairly good condition here. Um, let me just show you one more phone that we have here, just to compare the two. We also have an older generation iPhone here. It's a bit smaller than the one that you have now. And it's a bit thicker as well. Um, if you wanted a tinier version of the iPhone, this one comes with this button in the center here um, to lock and unlock your phone. I see that yours also has a button as well. This one does not have the fingerprint scanner though. And this would be really good if you're not looking for a big change going to a phone with a keyboard. Um, if you just want to slowly go back in time and use a smaller iPhone, we do have this as well. But do you think you would enjoy having that phone or would you prefer a phone with the larger keyboard? The larger keyboard? Is there a particular one that you'd like? The touchscreen one? Okay. So you would like to trade in your iPhone for this phone? The Yes, this is the one with the full-length keyboard. Yes, you want to make that trade? Okay, we will make that trade for you then. I hope you enjoy this phone as much as I do. You're gonna love these clicking sounds as you use your new phone. Thank you so much for coming in today. You can just take this phone with you. Mm -hmm. Would you like a receipt? No? Okay. Yes. You take good care of that. Thank you so much for stopping by. Have a great day.